So now that you've learned just a little bit of SQL, let me show you what's covered in the rest of the full SQL course. In the rest of part one, we're going to go through some practical examples. The first example will be a form with a list box on it with several different fields. We'll make a couple of buttons with some custom SQL statements. We'll be able to change the sort of the list box based on different fields like last name or credit limit. Yes, you can do this with a series of complex queries, but if you know a little bit of SQL, you can do it with just one or two lines of code. Next, have you ever had a form that you wanted to use at multiple tables? Perhaps it just showed a list of people, but you've got employees, you've got customers, you've got vendors. I'll show you how to make one form, in this case an employee form that shows first name and last name, but you can click on the different buttons to show either customers or employees or both. We'll learn something called a union query where you can put the results from two different tables together. That's how you change the form's data source with some custom SQL. So that was part one of the Access SQL seminar. Part one focused primarily on teaching you what SQL is, how you use it, and a couple of practical examples. Now part two of the seminar focuses on actually working with the data and manipulating it, changing the data. One of the examples covers how to automatically update the prices for a particular category of products. If you want to mark up everything 20% in your database, we'll go through how to do that. We'll learn how to create a system log so you can track everything that your users do in the database. We'll learn about make table queries, how you can create automatic backups of your tables with one click of a button. And of course, delete queries. You can delete inactive products out of your database with one click. We'll learn more about union queries, where you can create queries that have multiple tables in them. I talked briefly about it in part one, but in part two we go over a lot more details. We'll cover one of my favorite things, cascading combo boxes. I have another tutorial about this on YouTube here, but this lesson goes into a lot more details. For example, you pick a country, then you pick a state or province, then you can pick one of your offices. You can have multiple cascading combo boxes, and this is very simple to do and easy once you know how to manipulate the SQL directly inside the combo boxes themselves. So that was part two. Part two is about manipulating data. Part three is about actually manipulating the structure of your database using SQL. You can actually use it to create tables and all kinds of other cool things. We'll learn how to create tables in our databases on the fly. We'll learn how to alter the structure of tables once they're already built. This is great if you're working with a solution that you've given to someone else. Because if you have to send them a new front-end database with just forms and reports, that's no big deal. But if you have to add fields to their tables and they're in a remote location, you can do this all inside of code. We'll learn about constraints, multi-field indexes, relationships, foreign keys, all kinds of cool stuff. We'll cover referential integrity, cascade deletes, creating views and procedures, which are essentially queries in Access, but they work great with SQL Server and other database servers. And we'll talk a little bit about database security. So I hope over the course of these couple of videos, you've learned a little bit about Access SQL, what it is, why it's important, why you should learn it for your databases. And thanks for sitting through watching me talk about my full Access SQL course. Now, if you're interested in the course, since you've gotten this far in the video, here's a special link you can use for a discount on my full Access SQL seminar. Once you get to that page, you'll see it's a link to my free Access 1, my beginner lesson. But if you scroll down the page down toward the bottom, you'll see a link just for YouTube viewers to get a discount on all of my courses. So please take advantage of that. And of course, to learn lots more about Access, subscribe to my channel. I try to post at least one or two new free tip videos here a week. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And of course, don't forget to visit my website, accesslearningzone.com. Thanks, and have a great day.